Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are these boat dealerships talking about when they say traditional pointed bow or a pickle fork bow? Well, bon appetit. Let's dig in. Hi, I'm Timmy from Lens Cove's Lessons in Boating. Wouldn't you agree that shopping for a wake boat is complicated enough without having to choose the bow design? We're gonna show you the difference in construction between a traditional bow and a pickle fork bow. And by the end of this video, you should know the similarities so you know which would be best for you. As a bonus, stick around to the end of the video and I will give you three things never to say when shopping for a boat. In this video, we will cover the design style and differences, the space differences, the weight differences, and the performance differences and similarities. So the appearance differences in a traditional bow versus the pickle fork bow are pretty straightforward when you look at them head on. For example, the pickle fork is much wider and it has this really aggressive styling at the front which cosmetically could be more your style than the traditional. The traditional bow is more of a classic V-bow style, and that could be a preference over the pickle fork in regards to cosmetics as well. When it comes to the space and storage and room in the bows of the pickle fork and the traditional, there are differences. The pickle fork bow, because it's wider, you're gonna gain width in the bow of your boat, which ultimately could be better for seating more people or extra storage. The traditional bow cuts in a little bit so you don't have quite as much room. When it comes to the weight differences between a traditional bow and a pickle fork bow, the pickle fork bow, because of its width and extra space, does add more volume to the boat. So ultimately, it is a little bit heavier than a boat of similar size in a traditional bow. Despite the differences we discussed in cosmetics, when it comes to the most important part, which is how they handle in water and rough water, they handle very similar. Although the pickle fork is wider at the front, it gives off the impression that it's not gonna handle as well and dig in as well as a V-type bow. The hull construction of a traditional bow and a pickle fork is actually the same where the water breaks on the hull. The pickle fork doesn't start to form until after that water break, which means the boat generally maneuvers the same as a traditional bow. The only difference is with the added weight at the front of a pickle fork, because it's a little bit heavier and bulkier, when you go to turn your boat, your radius isn't gonna be quite as tight or quite as quick. Wake surfing is one of the most fun sports and we really encourage you to get into it. When it comes down to bow styling, it's really personal preference and what works best for you. One should appeal to you more than the other. Here's a video about the different surf systems available on the market today and how they all work. And as promised, here are three things never to say when buying a boat. Number one, I'm a cash buyer. Although people think it's attractive, and that's fine, a finance boat deal is often slightly more profitable. If anything, inquire about financing even if you intend to pay cash. Number two, I'm going to sell my trade privately. The truth is, used boats are desirable and most dealerships want good ones. There's extra money to be made and a customer to earn if you want a good trade. And number three, I'm just looking for the best price. This is a relationship business and most dealerships will give a little extra to people they enjoy working with. Driving hard for the best deal right off the bat will usually backfire. And remember, a good deal on the wrong boat isn't necessarily a good deal. Thank you for watching today's Lens Cove's Lessons in Boating. As always, it's a pleasure, and stay tuned to our YouTube channel to get more free boating videos.